Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom icon for your weapon for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. And this is a continuation from that uh, uh, creating a model weapon tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, Milk Shape here, which I already have it open, and I have the lamp, just the uh, the static sitting lamp here. And what I did was I loaded in the uh, textures and got the texture mode active. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this to maximum view. So I'm going to turn this into an icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the axis here, the grid, and we still got that little node sticking out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go to edit and hide selected. So now all we have is just uh, it's just our lamp. I'm just going to have the icon look like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press print screen. And now I'm going to minimize out of here and I'm going to load up the GIMP. And let me move these things up back up here, up here. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to paste the image in there. Now I'm going to use the selection tool. And I'm going to select only the lamp right down to its edges. So I'm going to try to get as much of the lamp as I can and as little edge as possible. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control C, and then I'm going to press Control Shift V to create a paste of a new image. Now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the I'm going to use the magic selector here, and I'm going to change this background as soon as I find where the option is. Okay, under edit, go fill with black. It's a preference. Um, so now I'm going to change this image size because I want it to be the size of a 2x3 icon in the inventory. So I'm going to go scale image and I'm going to put 54, unlock that, by 96. It has to be 54 by 96 for your first image. There's two um, TGA images you need to make to get your icon properly working. One for when the mouse highlights over that weapon icon in the inventory and for one when the mouse is not over the icon. And this is for the, the, the first uh, TGA I'm building, the TGA file I'm building for this icon is the one for when the mouse is highlighting over uh, the weapon icon. So I'm gonna, it has to be 54 by 96 for an icon that's a 2 by 3 on the inventory. So I'm going to scale that down. Now I'm going to get it bigger here so I can see it. Yeah, it looks pretty blah now. Um, could uh, liven it up a little bit with some uh, some of the tools here. Maybe, uh, maybe get it a little brighter. Maybe add a little more brightness. Oh yeah, let me invert the selection here. Cancel out of there. Uh, Where are you? Select invert, invert selection, and increase brightness. Again, where was that? There it is. And maybe just brighten it up a little more. Oops, maybe not too much saturation. Need too much saturation. Good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to invert it again. What I want to do here is it's it. It's currently selecting the background. So what I want to do with the background is I want to color it to alpha. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to create another image. And this is going to be for the icon that is not highlightable. And that's going to be 64 by 128. And what we're going to do with this one here, doo -doo -doo. get that up there. 
do 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 fit fit okay good enough okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all and what we can do is we can just take this copy it with control C and I'm going to uh, eh. I'm going to go into edit I'm gonna paste as a new layer and then I'm gonna go into this move tool and I'm gonna move this down to the corner until it reaches 32 units and it gotta be right there and now it's right there at the corner and that that should that should work for it um, let me uh, fix this background here so we can do that let me merge this I'm gonna go and merge down and I'm gonna use this magic brush thing and see if I can match the background go fill the black and now we can select the background again with the magic tool and looks a little odd right now Whee. icky ew what just happened here well let's not worry about that you can tweak that all you want but right now I'm gonna show you how to get the, this background to alpha out so I'm gonna go to color I'm gonna go color to alpha and I'm gonna click on this here and I'm gonna move this V point here. I'm going to move it all the way down to zero and go OK. And I'm going to press OK again. And now the background should be alpha. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to alpha this background. And it's already set up from when I just did that. So I'm going to press OK again. And now what I can do is I'm going to go up here I'm going to save this file and it has to be saved into the game UI under UI icons and you can have this in a knob file as well and I'm going to name this um, um, Javo lamp dot TGA and I'm going to save it save it go to save and be sure to remove RLE compression and go save and now this is this uh, smaller one I'm gonna save this as and it's gonna be the same name but it's gonna have an R at the end of it you have you have to you have to have uh, one TGA for when it's not selected one TGA for when it's selected and the one that's selected has the R that bottom slash R at the extension and that has to exist or when you select over the item it's gonna disappear so that should be enough to get an icon in there so now what we have to do is go into the template and make sure that our template is referring to the right size of an icon so what we do is we go into the icon size and make sure that's set by 2 by 3 that's what we set the image icon for and then we make sure that the icon is referencing to the correct TGA file in UI icons so I named it Javo lamp so I should name this Javo lamp and from the last tutorial I made sure I uh, removed the staking from there because that would be awkward so once you're done with that you should be ready to save it and exit out of not editor and you should be able to run it and see what that icon looks like in the game so let's okay, check it out I'm gonna go into multiplayer land here and select my character and I'm gonna load up leaves of three just anywhere Spawn us with the storyteller mode. Go into items. Do 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 do. Where are you? You have a lamp. Spawn it. Pick it up. And 
now, there's our icon. So there you go, that's how you get a custom icon in the game. You might want to tweak it a bit. Um, seems like the GIMP has a little bit of a weird issue with this, but um, if you can figure out how to get rid of that uber whiteness around there, let me know. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so that concludes this uh, basic tutorial. Over and out.